you can help. Linda Welgus joins us now to tell us more. Hi, Linda. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning. Could you tell us a little bit about this mission? First off, uh, Wyclef Jean is is heavily involved in his homeland, isn't he? Yes, it? he is. He personally pays for garbage pickup in the city of Port-au-Prince. Otherwise, the garbage would be stacked 10 feet tall, and there would be a lot of um, disease being spread. So he does pay for that out of his own pocket. Now, uh, tell us about the mission of Friends of Haiti. Twice a year, the medical mission gets together, and approximately 40 people go to Haiti at a cost of $50 a volunteer per day, and they see patients from the time they get up in the morning until the time the sun goes down at night. Now we're looking at some pictures here. Was this from your recent trip? Yes, it is. Uh, this is the church and uh, our home for the time being. Friends of Haiti also hooks up with Food for the Poor, who did distribute tons of rice for the people during starving times. And that's times. just a bag of the rice there? Right, it wow. is. Here is a view of the countryside. You'll notice rocks. I have never seen so many rocks in my entire life. Mm. No such thing as grass, that's for sure. And one of the things that you do is help them develop uh, crops, though? And yes, we do. Plant. We teach them agricultural ways, composting, uh, planting trees. Here we have the children. We had asked to have maybe 75 children together for oh, a little my goodness. child's fair. However, we ended up with almost 1,000 oh. children. This is the richest landowner's home in Haiti. Uh, it is the closest thing to a home that, that you will see. Most of the homes in Haiti, you cannot even tell they are a home because they are covered with just a piece of uh, sheet metal, mud, and a little bit of rock. Mm. This is our garden that we are helping them grow trees. This is our interpreter and dear friend, Benito Jasmine, and we will teach them to take these trees, plant them, and help prevent soil erosion. You'll notice in several of the pictures that the children do not smile. Mm -hmm. That broke my heart. Um, Haitians don't dream. They have no hopes for the future. They live for today. So then you're in your mission now, the next mission you're going on is when is this going to start? The development committee is going to be going along with other board members to Haiti in January to do a planning session. Um, we want to see exactly what they would like to show us about their community, what they would like to change, what they need help with. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, uh, so there, are, there are two um, missions a year, though, is that correct? There are two medical missions. The development committee goes about four times oh, a year. Okay. We have the water committee that helps them search for new sources of clean water, pumping water up to the mountainside. And they go at least twice a year, if not more. How many times have you been? I've been there once. And what did? You, what were your feelings? I mean, a, a, to be overwhelmed by something like this. There are really no words to describe it. I did a little research before I went to Haiti. I could not believe the deplorable conditions that the people live in. All the way there, I kept thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? And after getting there and seeing everything, I could not put it into words for weeks after I got home. Um, what do you need? What do I need? What friends do they need? Of, friends of Haiti right now needs the support of the people of America. Mm -hmm. We just, financial donations would be terrific. Um, we like to help pay for education for Haitians to go to school, to learn how to do rabbit husbandry, uh, to learn how the process of the economy. Um, and just learn to improve and provide for themselves. So, um, so obviously you're asking for the, these types of supplies here for Friends yes, of for Haiti. Yes, for the medical mission. For the medical mission, yes. which is coming up, uh, which is twice a year. Yes. Right? And um, my last question, too, uh, Linda, if I may, you know, there's poverty in this country. What do you say to people who say you should help the poor people in this country? Once again, we have so many resources available to us. If you just walked a mile in their bare feet or flip-flops, you would understand that even the poorest person here in America is further ahead than mm. any Haitian child could be. Well, and looking at that house from the, the richest person in Haiti, right. and it's, it's, it, it approaches a house exactly. you know, in this country. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and good luck. Thank you.
And there's the uh, address for Friends of Haiti, P.O. Box 1174 in Green Bay. And you can also find all the information on our website, fox11online.com.